Burger Trend Truck of the Year three times in a row, that had never been done before. Then again, neither had a 12-inch touchscreen or a 1,000 pound-feet of torque. Never been done before. It's just kind of our thing. All right, Calgary Flames here have the lead after 20 minutes. Brett Ritchie stops in and uh, maybe just first, there's so much emotion, so much lead up to this uh, first game of the Battle of Alberta. What did you make of your team start? It was obviously a good start. Scored first shift, scored second shift. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. And, you know, uh, I think for us it's just about it's harnessing that intensity and, uh, you know, sustaining it through the whole game. How about uh, I thought on your goal and just what you saw and obviously the ability to put it in? It was just a little, uh, I guess I gave that guy a bump. It sort of squirted into the middle of the ice there in their end, and I, know, I just pulled, pulled it to my forehand, shot it. No, uh, not much thinking involved. Uh, you know, talk about the good start, obviously. We've still got 40 minutes left. Uh, what's the focus and what has to be the mentality for your group? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get to our game and uh, continue uh, putting pressure on them. You know, we have, we have a lead here. We wanna try and build on it. Next goal is huge, so, um, you know, that, that's our focus. Thanks for this, Thank appreciate you. it. There's Brett Ritchie after one. We found a way to make Coke Zero Sugar taste better than ever. Don't believe us? Taste it and become a believer. Go on, try it. New Coke Zero Sugar, now more delicious. Best Coke ever? You bet. Shouldn't he be playing basketball? Stick to basketball. Do they even have ice in China? Women's hockey is just boring, okay? What's so much girls play? Go back to where you belong. Go back where we belong. This, this is where we belong. Welcome inside Flames TV live at the intermission. It's brought to you by your Alberta Ram dealers, Brendan Parker, alongside Matt Stage, and breaking down a first period of this uh, first Alberta battle of Alberta uh, when it comes to the playoffs in 31 years. And uh, I know there's a lot of hype, a lot of lead up to this matchup. The second round, obviously, of the playoffs, first time since 2015. What did you make of the start uh, to this hockey game from the home side? Well, we, we felt the hype in the city, you know, last few days, and for the first minute to happen the way it did, two goals. Um, I don't think we could ask for anything more in this building. It's, it's rocking and, and the fans are ready to go. 51 seconds and it's a 2-0 lead. We'll take a look at the highlights and how, just how it all broke down in that first period of play. But uh, as you mentioned, first shift and uh, second shift of the game and the Calgary Flames have a lead. But uh, maybe just take us through what you saw here on this game opening goal and uh, uh, Elias Lindholm gets it. Yeah, I think it's no secret. I think the game plan for the Flames is throw everything at the net, especially early. Um, you know, they, they battled against Andre last series and nothing was going in, but if you keep throwing that many shots and you can get out of goal early, that was the game plan and it worked. Uh, you got three goals from uh, three different lines in the first period and, um, you know, that's huge. You can build off that and now you got to keep going now and build off that for the rest of this game. So Andrew Mangiapane gets into the act here as well and nice work there. Michael Backlund helps set him up. He's got his second of this postseason as well and uh, that was the start 51 seconds in. And it would continue here. And you hear Brett Ritchie describe the goal for his purpose. He said, not a lot of thought into the shot, but it doesn't really matter because it finds the back of the net. That would also be the end of the night for Mike Smith. And in comes Mikko Koskinen. But now how does things change from, you know, the Calgary Flames perspective, knowing you got the early lead, but uh, still a lot of game left here? Well, it can't change. I think you don't want to let up at all. Um, you know, you maybe let off a little bit here and you gave them one back. And Connor McDavid played nine minutes that period. Like, you got to give them hard minutes and... and you know, set the tone for the whole series. You know, I know there's a game to win here and you got to keep going at it and get that next goal. But you want to want to let them know it's going to be a tough series for them and, uh, you know, make them hard minutes for them. And I would imagine as this game goes along, you don't want to see, you know, open ice quite the same, uh, you know, and not that it's been a ton of it, but, uh, you know, from a Flames perspective, you want to make sure you limit that for McDavid and the company. Yeah, and, you know, we want to stay out of the penalty box and yep. um, not let them get feeling good about themselves. I think you want to build off what you have going. And, you know, I think as a team, you got three goals feeling good about themselves because three lines scored. Um, you know, everybody's chipping in. And now you want to roll into the second period, take this energy of this crowd and build off it. Quickly, we got about uh, 30 seconds here, but uh, you've been part of a number of Battle of Albertas. I mean, uh, as it goes into the postseason and you take it to a playoff level, do you feel like, uh, you know, this has the opportunity to go up another notch? 
oh, for sure. Unfortunately, I never got to play in a playoff series. It's been 30 yeah. years, but you know, we hate the Edmonton Oilers. It's no secret, I think. Everybody with the Flames jersey in the crowd feels the same way. So yep. this is exciting. It's, uh, it's nice to get off to a good start, but a lot of work to be done because, uh, you know, you got to get those four wins. Well said. Uh, that's uh, the breakdown of the first period, and obviously the second is just around the corner, but the Calgary Flames in a good position after one, up 3-1 over the Edmonton Oilers. Second period puck drop is just around the corner.